Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to part three of uh, this NFT series. Well, it's a series on how to create NFTs, pixelated NFTs. So, so we left off at, uh, we had our layers. As if you can remember, we have here. If not, you can check the previous tutorials. So we created our layers. We align all of them together. Uh, so now we want to we want to start generating the NFTs because we already have the artwork. So what you want to do is go to Visual Studio if you don't have it or any code editor. I, I'm going to do the tutorial with uh, using Visual Studio, so I recommend that one. Here you can get it for Windows, Mac. So do that first, install Visual Studio and make sure that it's working. Second thing is I'll put this, uh, the links on, on the description, these two links to these tutorials. So I'm using the library that these guys are using here. And I'm sure those guys are using a library the, of a different guy online. Anyways, so what we're going to do is you can follow this tutorial and it will get you to the same place, I think. I'm uh, doing a few things differently, but I'm pretty much uh, following this tutorial as well. So you want to go to Visual Studio. So open Visual Studio. Uh, let's see, just go to where it says open. Yeah, my computer is just very sluggish. Let's create a new folder that has uh, just the name of the collection, I guess. Much, wow, doge, something like that. That will be the name of my collection, so I'll just put that. Open that folder. Yeah, it's taking longer than what it should be taken. Yes, I trust the authors. All right, once you're here, open a terminal and you'll get something like this. Uh, I'll just give it a second here. Anyways, meanwhile, we can go to, to where it says view, command palette, just select, a, select an interpreter, uh, just select Python, this one. If you don't have Python, you'll have to install that one. So as you can see here, we're inside of this folder, right? So what I want to do now is to clone the repository that we're going to use. In this case, it's this one. Again, I'll put links in the description. So this is the one that we want to copy, which is the library that these guys are using here. So once you do that, you will be able to see the library here. And then you can expand it and see that it has all the assets that they created because... Uh, they're you they're they're making squirrels right so that's what they have here so you can go ahead with this i guess if you want to i'm gonna delete all of these well before i do let me show you something um, well let me just get here first all right so then you want to check if you have python because we're going to use python so you want to check if you have python so this is how you checked with uh with that issue you with that command you issue that command so you click on it and I mean you press enter and it gives you like the version that you have and what we want to do is we want to CD into this library and we want to create a virtual environment so why are we creating virtual environments uh, we're doing it because we don't want to install packages globally that's why we create a virtual environment so that the packages are only installed uh, within that virtual environment and this is a command that you issue to create a virtual virtual environment just press enter and you have created one you can see here on the left and it will take a few seconds I'm sure it will be faster on your computer it's, ju it's just waking up now you have it here anyways so now you activate the virtual environment and you issue this following command and you don't need to know any of this it's good to know but it you don't need to know any of this to create NFTs but to use the library, you do need to know a few uh, commands here. So once you're inside of the virtual environment, you'll get something like this. And that will tell you that you're inside the virtual environment. And then you want to install all the packages that you need. In this case, you, if you go to a tutorial, it will tell you the packages that you need. So you'll just read through, the, through that. And then these are the packages that you need. Pillow, Pandas, Progress Bar 2. And this is an explanation why you need them. So if we go here, I already did this, that's why I'm just, uh, I already have them, I think. If not, then we'll, they will install again, I guess. So right now it's doing the installation of all of those packages. 
So we'll explore the config that py file until all of this is done. So here you can see that you have uh, you know the same number of folders that you have here in the assets uh, folder. Have the background, the body, the expressions, headgear, shirt, and what else? Miss. Anyways, what you want to do here, since we don't have all of these, right? So we're just gonna we're gonna delete everything here. So on the left, come here and delete all the assets unless you want to use them. So we have our own assets, our own uh, artwork. That's why we're deleting those. And here we want to do the same thing because we don't have all of these, right? So let's see here. So let me just delete. Uh, I think we have three of them, right? So let's just delete that and then go to the folder that we created in the previous tutorials and see how many folders you have here. If you have more, then you should have, you should leave here more, right? Or you should have more. So I have a folder that's called background. That's good here. I have one that's called base. It's not called body. So then you want to replace this one uh, with that name, with the name that you have. Uh, you have one that says eyes and you replace that as well because it was called something different here. And then you want to save the file. So command save and then it will save the file. So now we're going to take all of these folders and we're going to move them to the assets folder here on the left. And it's, ta it's as you can see, it's taken a while here. And all of the packages have been installed successfully, as you can see here. And let me see if I can go here to assets. Uh, they're still copying. Yes. So as you can see here, we have all our, uh, yes, we have the, the artwork here. So let me see, you have the background, we have two backgrounds. So we, so take the layers that are aligned and put them here in the assets folder. All right. So after we have done that, uh, here, if you have like extra, if you want to have like, you know, an NFT that has, I don't know, like, uh, it has like a cigarette in one and it has like a pipe on, on another uh, layer then you wanna just read through this tutorial it will tell you how to you know how to set these uh, rar rarity weights um, because then you need like a python list it's not complicated you can just follow this tutorial anyways um, so once you do that so just check that you have all of the layers here you have the base, you have the backgrounds. All right, so now once you have done all of that, you can go back to the terminal and issue the following command, which is python nft.py. And that's going to ask you for some things here. So let's see. So we have our, our art here. We have issued the command. It's just a little bit slow, my computer today. All right, so once you have issued the command, you're gonna get the, the following questions here. How many uh, how many NFTs or avatars you wanna create? In this case, it says uh, that we can create 18 because we have, you know, a limited number of layers. If you have more than it will, this number will increase. So we have 18, so we'll just uh, click uh, enter 18. What do you wanna call the collection? So we'll just call much wow doge club, right? Or just something like that enter and then you can see all the nfts are being created and there is a new folder here which is called output so if you go to this folder you can see that you have the metadata you have the images which are the nfts here so if you click on one of them you can see that uh, the nft appears here and you have all the layers stack on top of each other you have the background you have the base and you have the eyes and you see how they're different depending on um well, this is random. It's generated uh, randomly. So you have your NFTs. And once again, if you add more, let's say you have different, maybe 10 more uh, of these bases, then you'll get more images. The same with the background. If you have different backgrounds, if you have different uh, traits. And as you can see, we have created the metadata. In this case, it's just a description of, you know, what you have here. So for the first one, we have like uh, the background is red, the base is silver, the eyes are right, and so forth and so on. So for the next, so we still need to generate the the metadata for the JSON, uh, JSON data for 
for these NFTs so we'll do that on the next tutorial but for now we're gonna stop here you have your NFTs if you wanna create more then just uh, go and create more layers and put them here and you'll create another con collection you'll issue the command python uh, nft.py and you'll create a different collection and it will have more uh, of these uh, images for the next tutorial we're going to be cre uh, uploading these images and also the metadata we're going to be creating json data uh, well more metadata and we're going to upload the images and the metadata to piñata which is like a service that allows you to store all of these files um, and then we'll deploy them on OpenSea. so yes so what we want to do now is just you know just make sure that you you have all the you know the images here the nfts and the the layers are aligned how you wanted them to be and i'll see you in the next tutorial uh thank you